Namaste, everybody. Um, feeling a little bit under the weather, so to speak, here. So, uh, first video in a few weeks. Have, I've had the flu for a couple of days, so bear with me here. Um, I am feeling a lot better, uh, but I did want to come to you today and talk to you really quickly about feeling stuck. Um, I was having a conversation last night on Facebook with uh, Holly Pore, I believe that's how it is. How it's pronounced. Uh, Holly is having issues with wanting to go home to San Diego, go back to San Diego. And uh, in what she was telling me, she feels a little stuck. And that's what I got out of it. So um, I want to talk to you all about feeling stuck and where you are. Um, first of all, ask yourself a question Who is it that feels stuck? Do you feel stuck? And why do you feel stuck? And who is it that feels this? feeling of stuckness, if that's a word. I too have felt stuck in, in certain things. Um, I felt stuck in the last place I've lived for many years. I felt stuck in a few jobs I've had throughout the years. I, the only thing I can say I don't feel stuck in is I don't feel stuck in my relationship because I'm happy in that relationship. No matter where I am, with that person in that relationship. I'm happy. But the feeling of stuckness, as we can say right now, stuckness, we'll make that a word, okay? It's okay to feel stuck because you are not stuck. Do you follow what I'm saying here? You are not stuck. No one is stuck. thought I was being interrupted for a moment there. Sorry. Moment of pause, moment of silence. So back to feeling stuck. Who is it that feels stuck? And why do you feel stuck? And what are you stuck in? Are you stuck in a bad job? Are you stuck in a bad relationship? Are you stuck in an area like Holly where you don't really want to be that you were before, but it was actually better when you were there before? I've been there. I've been there many times. But one doesn't have to be as stuck as they feel in a situation. Situations do change. We do come back home. We always do, one way or the other. If there is a God, if there is a will, there is a way to come back home, to come back together. Simple. To actually feel stuck in a situation is, is merely just a feeling. You are not that feeling. It's a longing for something that once was, or some place where you once had happiness, where you once had a great existence, a great being. It can be again. It can even be that where you are, wherever you are. As long as you settle in and you realize that you are not feeling stuck. Your ego, your body, your mind is stuck. You as a being are free. I could close my eyes right now and place myself, as I say, self, into a place. I can visualize it with my mind. Oh, it's so nice. But I'm still sitting in this chair. I'm still talking to you. That's called meditation. teleportation, <laughs> whatever people want to call it. That's what it is. That's all it is. There are many ways to keep yourself from feeling stuck. There are many ways to keep yourself happy. Just don't choose the wrong ways and the wrong roads, you know. I have. You have. We all have. We don't want to go there again, do we? But be happy where you are. Even if you feel stuck, there's a reason why you feel that way. There's a reason why you are stuck where, what, how, who it is. There is a reason. And where you want to be and where you actually are at this moment in time in this stuckness, 
just is. You can't be where you want to be, but don't pout about it. Don't strategize. Stay present. That's what I have told Holly. Stay present. Remember what I tell you. Welcome to your now. This is your now. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to spend the next 15 nows, which is the next 15 minutes or so, you're going to sit here and, and, and make a list of, of how long it's going to take or what you need to do to make it happen to where you need to be? Or are you going to sit back into today and let today work itself? Let this moment be your shining moment to just be. Wherever you want to be in this stuckness to make it go away will come. Not to quote alcohol, Alcoholics Anonymous, not to quote them, but um, the answers will come if your own house is in order. That's what they say. And it works for everything. It's not just some AA pitch. Not some AA pitch. It's love and devotion of self. Because the answers will come if your own house is in order. Because you're staying present. When you stay present, when you just be, when you do everything you can to help one another, or to just to just stay focused on what needs to be done right now, you're all good. The answers come. The answers come, and they do come, and they come like crazy. And I'll tell you something. Sometimes they're not the ones we want. They're not the answers that we want. Maybe the answer will come for you that you have to stay where you are for a little while longer. Or permanently. Not what you want, but it's what's going to happen. It's what needs to be. Until set time. Until it's, until it's actually time for you to go and be or do whatever it is that you're trying to do with your life. So, in feeling stuck... Is there anything wrong with feeling stuck? No. Is there anything wrong with being stuck? Ego-wise? Yes. Being-wise? No. Just remember to ask yourself who's stuck. And are you looking at yourself being stuck over a projected amount of time? Or are you looking at yourself being stuck right now? That's the question. Because if you're looking at yourself being stuck over a period of time, say a month, two months, three, four years from now, that's not staying present. At least if you're going to have to force yourself to remain stuck, stay stuck in the present moment and get on with it and say, fuck, this is, this is all I've got. Don't pussyfoot around it. Don't dance around it and go, oh my god, what's going to happen in 2012? What's, or I mean, 2013, what's going to happen in, in 2015? Will I still be living here? I want to be home by then. Will I still have this shitty job? I want to be a manager by then. It's not important because now you're getting yourself stuck in a future that hasn't even come yet. But if you can stay in the moment and stay present, why is there a need to feel stuck? Follow me? Staying stuck is a mind thing. Don't make up your mind. Mind is nothing. It doesn't exist. Mind is ego. Ego is mind. You are not your mind. You are not your ego. You just are. So therefore, you are not stuck. You're happy, you're joyous, you're free. Not to quote programs again. But you take that into any life. Happy, joyous, free. That's what it is. That's all it is. That's all we've got. That's all we need. We need the ability to eat, drink, sleep, rest, recreate, procreate, whatever. We don't need the ability to be stuck. Being stuck is stupid. Because when you think about it, think about it really hard why you're stuck. Think about the most ridiculous part of it. Right now, do that. Think about the most ridiculous part of why you feel stuck. And keep it to yourself. With your eyes closed. 
Do you feel that smile coming across your beautiful faces? You know why that's coming across your face? Because you're seeing that you're not even stuck. That it's silly. It's monumental. It has nothing to do. It's minimal, I mean. Sorry, monumental. <laughs> it's monumental in your mind, but it's not monumental to you. It's minimal. It's nothing. It just is. It's a feeling. A feeling that is not you. You are not your feelings. Your feelings are not you. Therefore, it does not exist. It's just something that the mind and the ego has created for you to have some reason to revolve around this this whole mess of, of oh, woe is me, and, and the poor pitiful pearl thing that all of the 50s. I mean, it's, it's possible to break the circle. Unless you break it right now. Give it up. Let it go. Give it up to God and let God handle it for you. I promise you won't feel stuck. You'll feel light-hearted. You'll feel light as a feather. You will feel nothing but the breeze of the cool fall wind and air making its way through your soul. That being said, I guess you get it now. There's no reason to be stuck. No reason to feel stuck. It's just ego. It's just mind. It's not your way. It's not God's way. It's no particular way. It's because you moved out of presence. Just stay focused. Stay here. That's all. Stay with me. Stay with yourself. And on that note, um, I'm going to get back to being sick here. <laughs> I love you all very much. I'm very glad you're taking the time to watch and listen. And I hope I've helped somebody, especially you, Holly. And once again, love, light, peace, and love to all of you. And welcome to your now. And namaste. Bless you all. Talk to you soon.